going to talk about the best concealer for acne. <laughs> So I'm about to go in Walmart and I'm going to buy all the concealers that say they're for acne and we're gonna compare. Just a quick update, they didn't have very many options. First, I need to unload all of my groceries. So we've got everything put up, except this. You didn't see that. And I found this really cool stuff. Um, this is for pain relief, but I was thinking, it has hemp seed oil, and I was reading about how hemp seed oil is really good for acne, right? I'm going to probably do a spot treatment and put this on one spot on my face and see what it does. Because I'm curious. Hemp stuff, it's just good for everything. So I was like, I have to try it. Like, that is freaking amazing. Okay. Anyways, that is not what this video is about, obviously. With the one that is my favorite, I'll do a quick little coverage thing for you. But as you can see, if you've been watching my, any of my videos... My face actually has cleared up. This cheek is still struggling, but this one is definitely improving quite a bit. So yeah, I look better. Sorry I'm looking at myself. I'm just making sure I'm getting the right angles. But anyways, looking at the camera, I can see that like my face looks clear. It's more bearable to look at me while I'm talking so that you're not like, you gross and you click off because you don't like the way I look. But we're, we're getting there, okay? These are the three that I picked out. These are really the only three that they had for acne, okay? I promise, I went and looked through all of them and I'll have the videos attached where these three brands were right next to each other and I went and looked at the other ones and they didn't have any. Like, they had some that said good coverage and all that, but I was trying to find some that treat acne while you're wearing it. Let's start off with this one. The ingredients list is really long and it says on the back it has dramatic results and it says before, after, instant results, which it's talking about the coverage. And then the hyperpigmentation, it's saying before and after eight hours. I don't know if that's like after eight hours of wearing it or it's still in your skin or after eight hours. That's like what the hyperpigmentation looked like after she took the makeup off. So I'm not really sure they should have been a little bit more clear. I don't know. It looks good, but is it really that good? Because it says Conceal RX. The prescription is in for any and all imperfections. Okay, but it doesn't have any salicylic acid in it. So, I don't understand why it's Conceal RX. I'm sure it works for some people, but this one I'm not going to try just because it doesn't have that in there. And I just feel like I want something that's going to treat my acne while I'm wearing it. This one looks pretty good. And I'm not a scientist, so disclaimer real quick. I am not like a medical professional, so this is just my personal opinion and you can take it however you want, but this one looks good. It has some good ingredients. Some of them are like really long and I don't know what they are, but then it has talc. It has talc in it and it's one of the first ingredients in it. So this one looks good, but talc is known to clog pores. I like this one, okay? Oh, this one has 1% salicylic acid, okay? So, there's that. This one has 0.5, but it doesn't have talc in it. The ingredients list on this one is still pretty long, but 
the writing is bigger and it's smaller on this one so I'm pretty sure that there's less ingredients in this one and for this one probably about the same amount of ingredients ah I found it in this one too this one has talc too okay wait a minute I'm shook right now all right so we've got a freaking winner you guys I was looking for it on here because I didn't check these in store all right both of these have talc known to clog your pores and this one it looks like they're trying to say oh yeah this is for acne um conceal rx it doesn't have any salicylic acid but it does have talc so um bye this one right here um one percent salicylic acid more than this but what is the one two three four fifth ingredient wait one two six ingredient talc so what do we say about this one no freaking thank you we have a freaking winner right here this one right here is the only one that i will ever use from a drugstore walmart whatever this one doesn't have any talc in it and it also has um sorry if i say this wrong kaolin Ka kaolin the you know like the clay like kaolin clay it has that word in there so i'm thinking so is it gonna like draw out the stuff out of my pores i don't know but nowhere on here do i see talc I see synthetic synthetic wax that doesn't sound very nice but I'm sure both of those have it plus they have talc so this one right here seriously this one is a winner I used to wear it when I would go work out uh, like a year or two ago and it wouldn't break me out it would actually clear my face up which is freaking crazy I was freaking looking for it on that one I knew it had it in there I just knew it like I didn't read the ingredients yet but freaking found it on there I'm not playing this is the bomb.com wait oh my gosh I forgot about this part oh my gosh okay physician's formula concealer 763 okay what is my hair doing it's real cute I know okay it's still doing it we're fine Neutrogena concealer 697 and then wait for this one Alme concealer 827 so who wins the ingredients list and the price test um you tell me um I don't this one duh I ain't even gonna throw this one because this is the one that I love and by the way I'm taking the other two back if y'all are wondering what I'm gonna do with them I just bought them t for this video to show you the ingredients list it looks like this one has more natural ingredients in it it just look more trustworthy there's some questionable ingredients in here I mean I'm not gonna lie but compared to those this is fine this is totally fine like I promise you will not regret it Neutrogena if you want to sponsor me go for it because I freaking I love all your products your products are great their lip balm's good that stuff hydrates the shiznit out of my lips oh I love it guess what's not good another two that was just a quick which drugstore concealer is the best because I feel like some people might struggle with trying to find a concealer that's best for acne and they aren't very educated on ingredients that can clog your pores and Neutrogena has like been one of the best brands for a long time and they have acne face products like face wash and stuff so I feel like they know what they're doing like Alme they just have makeup they don't have facial product line you know what I'm saying so Neutrogena they know what they're doing 10 out of 10 recommend the Neutrogena one love the coverage I love how it goes on and stays on throughout the day I don't wear any powder nothing I wear concealer and that's it and now I'll show you the coverage of it. I'm not going to show you the coverage of the other ones because I'm not putting that on my skin. I used to use an e.l.f. concealer brush, but whenever I use these to put my concealer on, my face doesn't break out whatsoever. Whenever I use a brush that I've already put on my skin before, it breaks out some. If you have really sensitive skin, I recommend just getting a new cotton ball like not a cotton ball but a cotton pad every time you put your makeup on because it just works for me and I get it wet just like you would a beauty blender because it blends it out better and I don't even put it all over my face but it doesn't leave like little circles or you can't tell that I've just put it in certain spots and not everywhere it's kind of a little hack to just be able to kind of like 
spot cover and not put it all over your face without it being noticeable. Same exact thing that you would do to a beauty blender. I get the color buff. Light is darker than buff, but the buff one, it just matches my skin really well. And they have like five or six different colors. I think it's five different colors. I've got it on this side, obviously, and not this side. It has like really good coverage. ending i'm sorry about that my camera cut off but i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what y'all thought in the comments below and like and subscribe and go out and get you some neutrogena concealer if you need it even if you don't have acne i still recommend it because it has really good coverage but see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye